Hey everyone, Tucker here from Combo. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the big new updates we made that'll improve your experience with Combo across the board. Let's hop right into it. So the first thing that you'll notice is a new look and feel for your library. We've made it cleaner, faster, and easier to navigate. We've also introduced the ability to preview your clips before you actually start editing. To do that, you just have to click on the ellipses here and hit preview video. Your clip will appear in a modal that overlays your library and you can press play to watch it. We also changed the way that you access your videos that you've imported from Twitch or that you uploaded from your computer. Just click on the menu here and switch it over to uploaded. So those are some of the changes that we made to your library. Let's head over to your inbox to see the updates that we've made there. Just like your library, we made some changes to your inbox so it looks better, feels faster, and is easier to use. Just like before, you can share your videos to TikTok by clicking on the TikTok icon under one of your clips, and you can upload it to YouTube Shorts by clicking the YouTube button here. One of the other changes that we made is the ability to delete videos in your inbox. To do that, just click on one of the ellipsy icons on one of your clips and hit delete. You can now also watch your videos after they've been edited straight from your inbox. So you can watch your videos before they're shared to YouTube or TikTok. Just hover over one of your videos and hit the play button. Here, a modal will overlay your inbox and you can watch your video here. Let's hop into the studio editor to see some of the improvements we made there. Some of the improvements that we've made in the studio are behind the scenes that makes your experience feel faster, snappier, and just an overall better experience. Fixed a lot of bugs and made a bunch of improvements that people have been asking for. One of the improvements that we made is the ability to select multiple layers in your timeline at once. If I shift click on two of my layers here, I can see that they're both selected. Now I can trim them both at the same time instead of having to do it one by one. The same thing goes for splitting these clips. So if for example, I wanna split these both at this time here, I just hit the split button, and they both get split. We also made some improvements in the undo redo functionality in your editor. So if I click the undo button up here, I can now see that it's undone the action that I just took. I can press the redo button to reapply that action. So that covers some of the main updates in this latest release of Combo. Stay tuned for more new features and improvements to the entire platform coming over the next couple months. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to let us know in the comments below or join our Discord server. We look forward to seeing what you create with Combo and happy clipping.